Hey, what's happening guys? For today's fun, I'm going to try and fulfill a viewer request. When we first did the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico with the OLED, somebody had asked me, can I get the temperature to print on there? Well, let's find out. I mean, I think I can. Should be able to do it. So let's, uh, let's put this guy in here. So VCC is five pins down on this side, I believe. We got our pin out here. So there's 3.3 volts. So that is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. That is VCC. And then ground is three pins down. One, two, three. And there's ground. SDA is on pin one. So data goes to pin one. And clock goes to pin two. All right, so we got everything hooked up there. Let me uh, get the USB cable here. Plug it in. And I will bring up Thonny on the computer and we should be able to see our little hello world telling me that everything is hooked up correctly at least that's the thought so let's run it and there you go hello friends is on the computer so everything is hooked up properly and we're running and that's all good that's a good start to our program now we need to get the uh, temperature program to print out on this i don't think it's going to be that hard but let's uh give it a shot all right so this is our code for reading the temperature sensor let's see if it runs Okay, it's reading 1615.8. That is not correct. It is currently 21 degrees Celsius here. So let's see if we can uh, we can fudge this a little bit. Let's see if we change this to a 26. Seem to make too much of a difference at all. Let's change it to 30. That way we'll go the other direction. Why didn't you like that? Oh, okay, something wrong there. Let's try that again. 30. Save. Run. All right, now we're almost there. try 31 and I realize that this uh, is not the proper way to do this I'm just trying to get it to rewrite for what I've got going on here 20.7 my other temperature is fluctuating between 20 and 21 so I think we can call this good we're close enough that we can use this value to get our reading all right so I'm going to stop this and we're going to create a new yeah 
we're going to create a new one and from the new one we're going to take those inputs there and also these two somebody's probably laughing at me going you're not doing that right probably not but then again I don't know what I'm doing so okay then we need our OLED setup and from Temple we need we need some of this good stuff here it matters where I put it but I'll put it here anyway then we need our while doohickey that goes there so here's where we're gonna make our change Right here where it says print temperature we're going to put OLED text temp uh, sure at zero zero and then I believe we also need our OLED show or well, we're not going to see anything So if we did everything right, we should be able to see our temperature on there. So let's uh, save this as temp on OLED dot tie. And uh, now we'll go over to the desk and the Raspberry Pi Pico and uh, find out if it worked. Okay, everything is uh, ready to go. All I need to do is hit the play button on Thonny to run this. And we should be ready to see some sort of error because I'm sure I screwed something up. You ready? Three, two, one. Yeah, type error. Can't convert float object to string implicitly. I was afraid of something like that. One moment, please. All right, so I looked on MicroPython convert float to string. It says we use a string command. So that's what I've done here. We've created T string, which will equal the string value of the float value temperature. And we'll see what we get. All right, so trying it again this time. And it works. Success! Almost. So it's printing over those. Which is not great. Is there a command to clear it? Let's find out. All right. So what I've added is the OLED.fill0 and OLED show again, which should fill the screen with black between uh, reading and printing of the temperature. So let's see what happens. Yeah, that's working. Focus, come on. Can you focus? There you go. Come on, focus. There we are. So, we got it to work. We're actually doing something useful with the Raspberry Pi Pico, which, I mean, I know it's capable of a lot of useful things. I just don't know what they are yet. So, thank you for joining me on this uh, easy Sunday afternoon to figure out if we can make this work. If you enjoyed this little video, give me a thumbs up. 
Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Hey, and a big thank to Quincy. You guys will find out why later this week. That's it. I'm out. Peace.